very proud of our civilization and we should be it is an ancient uh, possible and arguably the oldest continuous civilization in the world but when the people we are proud about our ancestors uh, were not quite the kind of people we think they were uh, they weren't very obsessed about their racial purity uh, they weren't uh, these inward looking people trying to preserve some pristine culture far from it uh, we were uh, exploring the world traveling trading exchanging ideas um, and of course um, <clears throat> uh, mixing with each other in multiple ways uh, I mean Indians are, are racially mixed with all kinds of people I mean they're, they are they are, they are so-called ancestral North Indians but in fact they, they, that too is not a race it's a, it's a mix it's a mix of genes and they're the people from southern India they are of course large numbers of migrants who came in from Southeast Asia who not only settled in uh, India's northeast but uh, you know went fairly well into India and, uh, there was an enormous amount of merging and mixing of ideas uh, of uh, genes of course uh, but also of commerce and culture so really uh, the reason I call my book uh, the ocean of churn it's of course an allusion to the Samadra Mantha um, is that really understanding the history of not just mankind but specifically of India uh, has got to do with understanding this continuous churning that has that is basically defined who we are and to try and compartmentalize this is simply to miss the point I mean not only is this not historically true it is to simply miss the point of what our civilization is about